Okay, what's happening, everyone? This is anything nine 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 five five. Um, I've just got a slight video. Yes, my computer is running VMware right now. I want to show you a neat trick that you can do if you don't know. This will only work if you've got iTunes. So what you need, you can't have an Android phone. I'm recording on my Android phone because I'm going to show you my iPhone and my iPad doing this in action. So then, what you what you want to do? I've already installed it in both my devices. Go into your App Store. Oh, zoom in. Oh, not zoom in, focus. Go to search. And at the top, type in remote. I'm looking through the camera so I can't really see. And I don't know what time yours is going to be released, but it will say remote and then at the bottom, Apple. And then you want to click install, but as I've done that, so what you need to do is on your computer for it to work you need to have iTunes so that's what I'm going to go ahead and open why does this camera look so rubbish than this Sony phone you zoom in it looks worse Ew, god they look blurry okay so once it's fully loaded see mine was just loaded right it's accessing my iTunes store I want to go to uh, file, home sharing, and then turn on, right? So then you you turn you click turn on, put your password in, and all that jazz. Uh, so then what you need to do is open this new app that you just installed called Remote. Now, as me, I've just installed it for here, but you need to do set up home sharing and you need to put your apple id and passport so i'm just going to go ahead and put that in you guys i can't um lose the video right now but anywho we can i know some of you want the password Some of you, you need your Apple ID and password for this guy. So if you haven't one, haven't got one, it will take you through the steps. If it says you, if you don't have one, so it says now. Wait, right, it says done. So it says, oh god, so focus. Turn on home sharing on iTunes using the account. But what you would want to do is if you want to use more battery life you click the stay connected on i might just i'm just going to keep it on my ipad for now but i think yeah i need to um do something on here first because i've just done it straight away and it worked so i want to turn it off remote oh come on i'm so stupid i might have to reboot the um app so just double click. It was just working on my iPad. I've done it. So do I need to do something here? Home sharing's on. Look, it says it right there. Oh, I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on then. So now it's turned off. Home sharing. Turn on. Oh, ha! Dang it, when computers fail you. Yeah, so this screen will come up when you do it. I'm just going to put my password in again. Like, it's much faster on here. So you'll basically just click turn on. Then click done. And then on here, it'll say your name of the computer, my one's user, anywho, library. And then it'll say connecting. And then on your iPhone, it will look like your, you know, your regular music app. But... Anywho, it looks different on here. I will show you. And I've got it plugged in to because it isn't really that loud. So, say I'm just going to pick a random Christmas song because you know it's Christmas. See, it will click it on here. Now, if you look on the screen, look at this top bar. Once it loads, all of a sudden, and then it even came up on here. I'm going to pause that because you can also turn down the volume. Turn it up. Oh, on my iPhone, on my iPad, you can't get this up on it. Anywho, we'll get out of that. Look, and if you look at this top bar and look at here. 
I'm going to pause that now. And it will look slightly different on your iPad. Now, this will work on an Apple TV as well. I just don't have one right now. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I was looking at the, so it says I need to turn it on again. I think Apple needs to solve this as an iTunes library. Um, oh, I didn't know you could do this. Uh, to add an iTunes, like, open iTunes on your computer. Choose remote from the tab bar. But I ain't got a remote. Bit here. Is it up here? This video is quite long. I need to put a special passcode in our Apple TV, you do. Oh, God, I need to keep turning this off and on, off and on. Choose to... No, I don't have an Apple TV. I've got, I've got to keep turning it off and back on just to show you. Anyhow, I might just keep it off. I might just not use it. I might use it just for, just for showing people. Anyway, i just put the password in. Turn on. I've got to just put that in correctly. And now, oh, oh, right now it shows up here. Users library. I don't know if that was on camera. But I'm just going to click on it. And as you can see, it will look like iOS six. I don't think they've updated the iPad version, but this is an iPad Mini, and it will still do the exact same things, but it just looks a bit different, like the bottom. Um, so I'm just going to play a random song. I'll just play that song again. Copyright might get it. So, I can also turn. See, do the exact same. But I'm now going to. That and. Then I'm going to see what happens when I have two devices at once. If, of course, it will work. And find my iPhone didn't come on. Hey guys, in part two, I've, I'm now going to have to edit it. But anywho, I've kept this on, and as you know, I've just clicked on the find my iPhone. But we're going to go to the end, and hopefully, it will pick it up. I'm not turning this off. I'm going to look in this top corner. Oh, I found it straight away this time. So it says connecting and visualizer. See on my one, it doesn't show it. showing you this and it also comes up on here as well but visualizing now works i actually quite like that that could be my screensaver but you can't delete songs so any song and it'll also pop up on here You can get the visualizer up on here. Oh, yeah, you can. Neat. Yeah. This is basically you got your Sonos for free here. Sonos killer. You can control. But the only bad thing is you need to connect this and keep moving this around if you want. Or you've got to have a wireless speaker connected to your computer. Keep your computer in one room on charge if it's a laptop. And yeah, I'm making you dizzy. You can put your speaker anywhere, and then you use it from your phone. So, yeah, bye guys.